Hello, my name is Dr. Chris Coker, and this is Christian Web MD. The topic at hand is the treatment of sickle cell disease. This is a very complicated topic, and we'll just scratch the surface. The previous section talked about the diagnosis and some of the symptoms of sickle cell disease. But what do we do then? The goals of management of sickle cell disease are, of course, to prolong life, as the average lifespan is in the 40s for those afflicted with sickle cell disease the management of pain, and prevention of infection. Oftentimes, doctors will give folate every day in order to decrease the amount of anemia for someone who has sickle cell disease. As part of the treatment of sickle cell disease and its pain, oftentimes acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or even narcotics have to be given for a painful crisis of sickle cell anemia where there's incredible bone pain and that's okay. At times, a medication may need to be started called hydroxyurea. That medication promotes the production of a different kind of hemoglobin that is missing in those who have sickle cell anemia. Finally, bone marrow transplant can be done for those who have sickle cell anemia. Unfortunately, the mortality rate, meaning the death rate, is pretty high for that and is only reserved for cases that are fairly bad. The discussion of who would qualify and who does not is simply beyond the scope of this website. That's something that needs to be discussed with your physician. Keep in mind, though, that there are treatments available for sickle cell anemia. Remember, this video is for educational use only. It's not designed to diagnose or treat any disease. If you have questions about sickle cell anemia or its treatment, please talk to your physician. And thank you for watching Christian WebMD.